Welcome to an introduction to the Dataprobe Cloud Service. Step 4. Cloud Features and Control Options. The Dataprobe iBoot G2 and iBoot PDU series of remote power control devices can connect with our cloud server, allowing you to control power without having to do any extra setup to your local network. Compatible devices communicate with our cloud server. Then you log on to your account on our cloud server and control power. My name is Sam and this video will demonstrate the features available within the cloud interface to control and organize iBoot G2 and iBoot PDU series devices already assigned to your account. The first thing to do is open a web browser and direct it to the cloud server address at iBoot.co. Notice this is not a .com but a .co address. Enter your username and password then click login to access your account main screen. In the upper left you will see a hamburger selection icon next to your account name. Selecting it will make options available for notification settings, account settings, and logout. Notification settings allow access to enable or disable the email notifications that are sent when devices go online or offline. You can select how long a device will need to be on or offline before that notification is sent. You can program the email address to send the notifications to as well. Make the changes, then save or save and exit to return to the main screen. Account settings will allow access to change the account email and username. You can also change your password. Make changes, then save or save and exit to return to the main screen. Cancel will cancel your changes and delete will delete your account. Logout will log you out and return to the login page. The main screen opens in location view and one or multiple locations will appear below the gray navigation bar. The location will have its name, how many devices are in that location, and the status of the devices being displayed for that location. The status can be up, down, or mixed. On the right is an edit icon to allow renaming or deletion of the location. Deleting a location will transfer devices in that location to the unassigned location. Expanding a location will reveal the devices assigned to that location. The device will show its name, the model type, and its current status. Status is a green dot for up or red for offline. Online devices will show a square representing the outlet that can be controlled. Green is on and gray is off. Offline units will just show as offline. There is an edit icon to allow renaming, deletion, or relocation of the device to a new location. The edit screen will also display the MAC address for the device. On iBoot PDU class devices, there will be a blue Manage button that will allow access to the full internal setup pages for the device, assuming you can enter the correct username and password for that device. On iBoot G2 class devices, the Manage button will be gray and have no effect. Notice in the middle of the navigation bar the text None Selected. Click on an outlet from the displayed devices to select and deselect it. When an outlet is selected, the navigation bar on top will display on, off, and cycle buttons, as well as how many outlets are selected. A selected outlet will have a yellow check. You can select multiple outlets from any device being displayed on the page. The number of selected outlets will be displayed on the navigation bar. Outlets will remain selected even when a location is collapsed. Outlets will not remain selected if the next page of devices is displayed. With outlets selected, you can click on the control buttons in the navigation bar on, off, or cycle. Activation of a power control will then deselect all the outlets after sending the control command. The selected outlets would be power controlled. Status will change to indicate the current status of the outlet. 
Status can be green for on or gray for off. Or blue for a cycle in progress on the iBoot G2 series devices. There is a convenient Select Deselect All Outlets icon next to the device status icon. Expanding the device will reveal specifics about that device. Clicking on the outlet while expanded will select or deselect the outlet. A selected outlet will be surrounded by a yellow box. If you have more than 25 devices, the page will paginate creating a link system below the navigation bar and at the bottom of the page. Each page will only display 25 devices, even if they are across multiple locations. Referring to the user demo displayed here, the first six devices in the data center, the one device in the east office, and the 15 devices in the main office will all be available for selection and control. That's 22 devices. This means that even though the new unit's location has got 23 devices assigned to it, only the first three will be available on this page. The next 20 will be available on the next page, technically page 2. So the 23 devices listed as assigned are all assigned to the location, but will not display at the same time. The easy solution to display only the 23 devices in the new unit's location is to use the search box in the navigation bar. If I enter the word new into the search, the search will find outlets and locations containing the word new. The main office is shown here because of the device named Newman's computer. And the location new units is shown because of the word new. If I make the search more specific, I will only show the 23 devices in the new units location allowing me to select as many outlets from that location as I need to. Let's talk about the navigation bar. On the left is the search bar that will find location names, device names, device MAC addresses, and even iBoot PDU class outlet names. Enter text and the search will begin automatically. With careful naming of the devices or outlets, you will be able to select all routers, for example, in the account for near simultaneously control. Next to the search is the view drop down menu that will view locations, history, or support. View locations is the default view. View history shows some of the recent activity for the account. View support will open a new tab that opens to the data probe product support page. Next to the view is the Add button with options for device and location. Add device is for adding iBoot G2 codes. See the cloud video step 2 on how to get codes from your iBoot G2. Add location will create a new location and help with organizing your devices. Empty locations are located on the last page when there are more than 25 devices in an account. Expand All will expand all locations on the displayed page. Collapse All will collapse all locations on the displayed page. If no outlets are selected, then none selected will be displayed. If outlets are selected, the number of selected outlets will be displayed. There will be a clear all to deselect all outlets, and the on, off, and cycle buttons are available to perform the power control on any selected outlets. If you do not have an account on the cloud server, please refer to the cloud video step one. If you do not have assigned iBoot G2 series device codes, please refer to the cloud video step two. If you have not assigned your iBoot PDU series device to the cloud, please refer to the cloud video step three. Thank you for your interest in the Data Probe Cloud service.